Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to make this bone letter opener. Look at that shine on there, huh? So stay tuned and we'll get at it. Alright, just got a plain old hacksaw. Alright, as you can see, it goes through that like butter. I'll finish cutting that and I'll bring you back. Alright, so now I'll start shaping it. Don't forget to wear a dust mask if you're uh, sanding these. It makes a lot of dust. Okay, okay, you get the idea. I'll refine this a little bit more and I'll bring you back. All right, so I got it pretty slim. It's less than an eighth of an inch. Let's see what we got here. It's actually um, three millimeters, so it's pretty thin. It ended up shorter than I would have liked um, due to the curve in the bone, but we'll make it work. So what I did was, I got a center line here, and I drew out a tang. Okay, so we're going to cut this material out here. And you can do it any way you want. Dremel tool, um, I'm going to use this little um, mini hacksaw. So I'm just going to cut that out, and I'll uh, bring you over to the saw and the vise, and I'll show you that. All right. So I got it in a vise, I have it clamped right on my line, and I'll just go down. Okay, now I'll just come in on it like this. There you have it. Now we'll clean that up with a file. All right, next thing we have to do, I have this piece of maple. All right, so we're going to cut a handle out of this maple, and then we're going to have to make a hole for the tang to fit in. So I'll cut this. I'll just cut a strip out of this, um, nothing exciting, and I'll bring you back uh, when I'm done with that. Okay, change of plans. I found this piece of hickory. From a uh, handle that I had shortened and I was gonna use this for something else I forgot what it was but uh, I didn't end up using it but it looks like this will work great for this so I'm going to drill a series of small holes at the drill press right in the top of there for this to fit in and I'll chisel it out so I'll bring you over to the drill press all right I gotta repunch that next hole. It's uh, drifting into the one I drilled prior. All right, give me one sec. All right, so we have our three holes. I'm not worried about them being centered at this point because I'm gonna reshape that whole thing. All right, bring you back over to the bench. All right, so now I'm just gonna use a little chisel When you're doing that, when you're chiseling it out, make sure the bevel is towards the inside so you get a nice flat cut. As you can see, that's very loose in there right now. So I'll continue on with that and I'll bring you back when I'm done. All right, so I got a nice fit there. I left a little tiny gap there because I want to put a little piece of brass right there to cover the end grain. 
like that. So I'll get to that um, after I shape the handle a little bit. Like I said, I didn't care which way the hole went in because I'm going to thin this down a lot. So I'll just take this over to the sander. I won't bore you watching me sand this down. Um, when I get closer, I'll bring you back. All right. So that's about, uh, I'm going to say, 20, 30 minutes worth of sanding. So I like the shape, nice and slim. Looking good. So now I'm actually debating whether I want to put brass in there. I mean, I got a pretty good tight seal there. And again, it's just a letter, a letter opener. But uh, it's basically how you would make a knife, a regular knife. So um, I'm going to do some hand sanding. We'll get the handle pretty well finished, and then I'm going to decide how it looks if I want to put um, the brass on it. But we are going to put a brass pin right about there. So uh, let me get some hand sanding done, and I'll bring you back. All right. So I got the handle 99% done, just a little final sanding. And then I decided I had such a nice fit there that I'm not going to put anything there. And I'm not going to even put a pin in because this thing fits so tight that, I mean, but I can't even get it out without wiggling it. So there's no way it's coming out. Um, I, I did make the hole a little tiny with the drill bit went off center there. But when I epoxy it in, which I'm going to, I'll add a little uh, of the sanding dust and that will become unnoticeable but uh, yeah I mean it's really tight I mean that last little whatever centimeter or whatever I gotta actually hit it on so I'm very very pleased with that so the next step now is gonna be to put the bevels on it so it's basically gonna be like a dagger shape okay and it's not going to be sharp. Uh, contrary to belief, um, letter openers are not sharp. If you ever use the knife to open a letter, um, unless you're very careful, a lot of times it goes off of the crease line. And I'll, I'll demonstrate that at the end, that the letter opener actually rips it open. Um, so we'll demonstrate at the end. But So now we're going to bevel this on both sides, pretty much just like you would bevel a knife. I'll put a center line down both sides. I'll put a center line down both flats. And I'll just take it over to the belt sander and very carefully start sanding it until I get it close. And then we'll finish it up by hand. So uh, there you go. I'll be back. All right, so I just got a scrap piece of wood so I don't mess up my handle. And we're just going to go at it gently. Not sure you can see that though, but we got a nice little bevel going there. All right, I'll continue on and I'll bring you back. All right, got a good start on it. Got a nice bevel on both sides. Now it's just going to be a bunch of hand sanding. Woo! I won't bore you watching that. And then I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. All right, so I have sanding done, hand sanding done to about 90%. So at this point, I'm going to epoxy it in. I'm very, very little epoxy because the friction fit is just awesome. So uh, I won't bore you watching me mix epoxy, but I'll put that in there and when it dries, I'm going to do some more hand sanding and I'll bring you back before we finish this up. All right, so sanding is all done. We got it down to a thousand grit. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear coat this hickory handle um, with a matte finish. I'm not putting any kind of stain or anything. I want to keep it as natural as possible. So I'll get that done. I won't bore you watching me spray paint, and I'll bring you back when that's finished. All right, so i got a couple coats, a nice satin finish on it. Now the last step is we're going to give the blade a little polish. Let me take you over the polishing wheel, and I'll show you how I do that. All right, so I got a little white rouge. All right, 
So you get the idea. I'll finish that up and I'll bring you back to the table and we'll wrap this up. All right, so it's all polished up. Looks really nice. Now, like I was explaining before, um, these are not made to uh, cut like a, a knife would. Okay, if you put a knife into an envelope, you ever notice sometimes it'll come out and it'll take a big chunk out? Um, that's because the knife is too sharp. These are made basically to rip an envelope. Okay. See how it does that? And of course you feed it down. And it rips it right open at the seam. So it works great. Now, of course, you know I wasn't going to leave this just like this. So I had to make myself a nice little leather sheath. And I left it natural, no stain. I did burnish the edges. Just got a little bit of uh, the wax that I used, the clear neutral wax. I think that looks pretty sharp. Fits in there great, stays on, and there you have it, a little bone letter opener. Hi right, everyone, well thanks for watching, I really appreciate it, I hope you enjoyed this, and I don't know if I mentioned, but you can get the bone, the shin bone, um, in a pet store, just to make sure you don't get one that's full of stuff, they put some stuff in there, you just need a plain old shin bone, and uh, you can make yourself one. So thanks again, everyone. I hope you all stay safe out there. I really, really appreciate you coming along, and um, we'll see you on the next one.